Hi everyone, Mike here, KMRD Radio Stuff. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell, you'll be notified when I make new videos. Today, we've got something cool. MFJ sent me a couple antennas after uh, Hamvention, and I've been playing around with this one, uh, and I've been really having fun with it. It's another one for you MBQRPOS guys. Stay tuned. Kilo 8, Mike, Romeo, Delta. Kilo 8, Mike, Romeo, Delta. Please copy 555 into park number Kilo 3101 in Vermont. Roger, Roger, you are about a 5555 into uh, Michigan. I'm running portable QRP, well, not QRP, but 20 watts uh, out in the park. Not a, not a park's on the air this time, unfortunately. Is this uh, the 731 guy? 741. So this is also a YouTube to YouTube contact. <laughs> Got you on the video here too. Oh, right on, man. Yeah, I'm filming. I'm I'm testing out this new MFJ uh, QRP pocket loop antenna. So just running 20 watts with a wire literally wrapped around a a, a, a pine tree. Okay. Well, hey, it's working for you. You're <laughs> uh, you're doing good in into Vermont here. I'm on a family camping trip. I'm just using my portable zipline dipole out here in front of the the uh, tent. Oh, very good, man. Well, glad you're out there playing portable. So I'll let you go. But uh, hey, great making a contact with you. That's awesome, man. Uh, I forgot your call sign. I'm not writing anything down. But uh, 73 from K8 MRD. Okay, 73, Mike. Thanks again. Look forward to your next video. And uh, we'll catch you here. You'll see yourself in this one at some point. <laughs> uh, 73, call is November 1, November Uniform Golf. And mm -hmm. the name is Rob. Romeo Oscar Bravo. Got it, Rob. Thanks. I got it recorded, so I'll get you logged uh, when I get back home. 73. Okay, catch you later, Mike. N1, N-U-G, QRZ. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the odds of working another YouTuber? <laughs> the first video of this uh, antenna. That's neat. So let me show you how I have this strung up. This is insanely cool how just compact and portable and deployable this is. Let me back up here. So... This tree right here, <laughs> that's what it's strung up in. So here's the box. It's got a BNC connector there. And I just, <laughs> I, took, I took one wire and hooked it up and threw this box into the tree and caught it. So the wire is going up, I mean, into the branches. Everything were, that we would think would not work because the tree is going to kill some of our RF. Uh, it's going up through, where is it here? You can't really see it. This is silly, but uh, it goes up there. Let's see if we can see it. Yeah, right there. And it's probably, I don't know, probably 10 feet up at the top. And it's just making like all kinds of not a loop and then going back down. How incredibly cool and rustic is that? I'll just show you guys a little bit of the SWR. I got it to tune to about 1.5 to 1 on 40. I had it literally 1.0 to 1 uh, at my house. But look at how this thing is only about 2 feet off the ground. So that's pretty awesome. On 40 meters, I had it 1.1 to 1, 1.0 to 1. So uh, this thing is definitely tunable. Really neat. So here's a little close-up of the uh, tuner. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this is not like your typical uh, loop antenna. This is really a tuner. This is not a high Q, uh, very low bandwidth antenna. This, I've tuned this up and I've swept all around the spectrum, not the entire spectrum, but um, you can go quite a range without having to tune this. So um, I found this kind of gets you where you need to be in frequency and then this kind of brings the SWR down. Really, really easy to make and deploy. So it came with, like I said, about 50 feet of this wire, 20 gauge wire. I don't know if you can see, probably not right there, 20 gauge wire. And it came with a few, uh, I think like six of these ring terminals, maybe eight of them. And I just crimped them and soldered them 
I, I just cut them to length. I didn't really fuss around with like shortening them a little bit. I very crudely cut them to the measurements, um, you know, plus or minus an inch or so of what, what the measurements said online. And I've been having a lot of fun with this thing. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the MFJ model, MFJ9232, QRP pocket loop tuner. This thing is neat. Uh, like I said, I've been playing around with this for the past couple weeks, just kind of toying around with it. The whole idea with this antenna is to experiment, and that's what I really like doing with antennas. So um, they sent me this with about 50 feet of wire that if you go to their website and download the, uh, the PDF of the instructions, they'll give you uh, certain lengths to cut wire. So for example, 40 meters is 28 feet, I think 13 feet for 14 meters, and like four feet for 10, 15, and 17. So I've got enough wire to make all those. So I made one for 40 and I made one for 20. And uh, I actually had this thing the other day in my shack inside. Uh, I just had it looped around like my workbench and over the door and I'm receiving signals all over the place. It was absolutely crazy. I was not expecting to receive signals inside my house, my old 1950s plaster wall house with I'm sure a bunch of metal lath that acts like a Faraday cage. So um, really simple, really easy to use. Uh, this thing is cool. So who is this antenna for? Well, uh, obviously any of you QRP guys, uh, this is rated for up to 25 watts. I was running 20 watts earlier. Uh, any of you HOA guys, you can, or, or if you're in an apartment, you can literally string this thing up with a wire inside your house and make contacts or throw it in a tree like I just did out your backyard. Anybody that has, uh, you know, an Ellicraft K, uh, KX2 or KX3 or the 817 or 818, or even if you just want to run QRP on something like an 891, um, really, really cool little antenna great for your go bag or your go box. This thing weighs very, very little. Um, so definitely not gonna weigh down your pack. Guys, I'm really impressed with this antenna. I, 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 didn't, I, I was skeptical about this uh, when I first got it because uh, I didn't really know what I was gonna do with it. But after experimenting with it, like this antenna is made for, uh, <laughs> I've been really impressed. So uh, anyway, just wanted to give my thoughts on a really cool QRP antenna. Something that's multi-band, yeah, you got to change the wires, but uh, it's not hard to change the wire. Uh, the only drawback that I would like to maybe see changed, and I don't know how they would, but these wing nuts, um, literally the first time I deployed this antenna, this wing nut went right to the ground and I almost lost it. So um, the, the ring nuts, maybe uh, if, I, if I made these wires again, Maybe I'll cut them off and put just some of those like fork terminal things on so I can just unscrew this a little bit, slide it in and uh, tighten it back together so I don't have to lose this because you know the only time you're gonna use an antenna like this is in a field of grass where it's gonna get lost. But other than that, man, this is, uh, this is pretty awesome. So, all right guys, thanks so much for watching. Again, if you like what you see, hit the subscription, hit the bell. You can follow me on Twitter at K8MRD. Uh, if you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comments. Links to this and everything else that I use will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching another episode of K8MRD Radio Stuff.